everyone so welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to actually show you guys how i make the intro that i have on all my videos well not all of them yet but they will be on all my videos and also the elsa intro that i showed you very recently so it's actually extremely simple as long as you have the things that i'm going to show you right now but the first thing that i want to show you is the actual intro so um let me press play on it Okay, so we're gonna make something very similar to that in this tutorial. Obviously, when you make yours, yours is probably not gonna be Elsa, but these are just the guidelines that you're gonna need to make your intro. So the first thing that you need is obviously The Sims 4. That's very important. You can also use The Sims 3, but make sure that your background is uh, like a green, like bright green, bright blue. Whatever color your Sim is not wearing, make sure that it's completely opposite of that. You're also going to need Fraps. Fraps is very important. You can also use another software. Whatever software that you use to record your Let's Plays or record your Creative Sim videos will work perfectly fine, but I'm going to be using Fraps for this tutorial. You're also going to need Vegas Pro. Vegas Pro is very important. I would say you can use Windows Movie Maker or something free, but I don't think that the features that you will need are available in those software. So I'm just going to say go with, we're just going to use Vegas Pro for this tutorial. And the last thing that you're going to need, actually it's not the last thing, you're going to need this create a sim background. And this background is very key because I don't know if you guys know about green screens, but green screens are used in movies a lot. They're also used in TV shows. They're just used downright everywhere when like video recording when the background seems like if you're if you're ever like watching a video and like wow that background seems so off it's probably because they're using a green screen and green screen allows you to change the background to whatever you want and you can just make it very easy and that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be green screening here so um you can actually use really any color screen you want in the background as long as it's solid and as long as your sim is not wearing it if your sim is wearing green this will not work if you use the green background if your sim is wearing pink this will not work if you're using the pink one and so on and so forth I don't recommend using the white or the black one because I just don't so just I would stick with blue green or pink for this tutorial we're gonna be using the green one because Elsa she's pretty blue so I don't feel like I don't I mean I don't think using blue will be very smart so um, what you want to do is just go here and click download there's gonna be a link to Google Drive and once you get there just open up a folder it's called solids and just make sure you hit pick either solid blue solid pink or solid green um, it just depends basically on what your sim is wearing so just choose it based on that I mean based it opposite of that you know, I think you understand what I'm saying I will click it now but it's super slow and you also can use this free website I use this to make all of my thumbnails everything everything you see on my channel all the thumbnails every single thing um, the channel art was made with PicMonkey and a little bit of Photoshop so I use this a lot and the background that I'm going to show you I actually made it in PicMonkey so that's also very important but you can really just use it whatever background so basically the first thing that you want to do which I already have it open you want to open up The Sims 4 I have The Sims 4 in windowed mode right now but I do not recommend that you use window mode you need to use full screen mode for this because um, it records better in full screen mode as you can see I have these black bars here and and it's just a, a bit distorted it, the quality is way better in full screen mode so but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna open it up in windowed mode so the first thing that you want to do is just if I don't know if you guys know this but every time you click a trait like this you get an animation and the animation is about five seconds long um, you can basically choose whatever you want it really doesn't matter what you choose just make sure that you have it set and make sure that the sim that you're using is already saved in the gallery because you will be changing their traits and you won't be saving the sim afterwards so you're just going to actually close the game after you figure out what traits you want to use so after your sim is already saved bring them into create a sim pick a trait like this you want her to do something like this in the animation then you're going to record that so basically what I did when I um, made this animation I just picked something I think I picked foodie yes I picked foodie so just make sure this white bar is not in the picture because that will just basically ruin it make sure that you're zoomed out enough so that her arms don't reach the span of this because you're gonna see pretty soon her arms will you know come out a bit and if they end up you know 
hitting this part it's irreversible you're gonna have to come back to create a stem and do it again so I'm gonna show you a bad example of something that you don't want to do this whole thing right here is just screwed up you don't want to record anything like this make sure that your mouse is not on it make sure that you know this thing is not in the picture because it will you know result into a problem so okay so just basically click and record this see what she's doing right now just record it press X record it again press X record it again now since you have three solid animations there we're only going to choose one but I want to make sure that you have the animation before you close the game down because um, it honestly takes me a long time to open this game up and I don't want to go back and have to do it over again. So just make sure that you cover your tracks. Make sure you do it a few times, maybe more than three. Really doesn't matter. Just make sure you do it multiple times. So now we're going to close down the game and what we're going to do is open up. Um, well, after you have your video clip, we're just going to place that somewhere. I have everything that I need placed on the desktop. So we're basically done with the video clip now. So what you're going to do now is open up sony vegas pro and i actually already have um the music that i want i already found everything and i'm gonna assume that you guys have already found your music as well if not pause this video come back with your music and then we'll you know go right back on into it but um for the song i'm choosing the piano version of let it go and um this song didn't get a copyright strike on my video so i'm going to be using it right now um when you make your intro make sure that the music that you use is not um, is copyright free because if you use a song that has copyright is copywritten then you will get a copyright strike on all of your videos and that is very bad so make sure that the song you choose is copyright free there is a YouTube channel it's called um, no copyright sounds I frequently use music from their videos because they their videos are copyright free all the music on there and it's you know it's dubstep but it's pretty good so what i'm going to do now so after i have my music i'm going to open up this sony vegas and i'm going to find the spot where i want this song to be this intro is only going to be about four to seven seconds i recommend less than seven seconds for an intro because um it's you know when it's really long it's, it's kind of annoying for viewers so mine i think mine was about five to six seconds so that's what we're basically going to do now so i'm just going to find a spot in the song where it works i think that what i chose for this was actually the chorus so i'm going to go to the chorus and i'm going to choose that part for this so that's basically where the chorus starts at so i'm going to zoom in and find the exact spot where it comes in and I'm this is like not a Sony Vegas tutorial so if you don't know really know how to use Sony Vegas then you're out of luck now I'm just playing I'm gonna show you a little bit so this should work so I'm basically just gonna grab split this part right here and make sure that it is a complete sentence because I, you don't want to have like half a sentence in here or if you don't understand what I'm saying sorry but this is basically how I do it so as you can see there that was a complete sentence that's what I call it in music because if you just have like like let me just show you a bad example that's a really bad example how it just stops and doesn't really have an ending. So just make sure you get a point to where you have a complete sentence. So why did I just press open? We're not going to open anything. We're going to actually insert another video track. And this video track is going to be your background. Let me show you actually the background that I chose for this. Um, I basically went to pickmonkey.com, played, played with the stuff that they have there. And what I did was um, added some little, like, it looks like ice. It looks kind of like frozen-y, so I chose to put this. And I did edit this photo. But what I'm going to do is drag it into sony vegas and now we have our background for the video so as you can see here like i said we have the video so um, i mean we have the background so it's set and one thing that i forgot to say i forgot to mention this you need to go to file 
and then properties and make sure that your settings right here which is the width and the height or the resolution of your video is set to 1280 by 720 if your videos are usually in 1080p then do that accordingly i believe it's 1920 by 1080 i might be wrong but for me most of my videos are in 1280 by 720 so make sure that you choose that and also the picture that you choose make sure that's also in 1280 by 720 or whatever you whatever resolution you choose for your videos so now that we have the background set what we're going to do now is actually insert an animation and this animation that you see right here I actually did download it from YouTube I'm not really sure if it's legal or not so I'm not really going to show you how to get those but I'm just using it for the sake of this tutorial so um let me just find a spot where it's good I'm just basically gonna pick a spot where I can find that the animation is complete and it's at least six seconds because we need that for this video since it is six seconds so that looks pretty good right there and so I'm just gonna split that now so now we're just gonna press play so yeah so we have we obviously have snow here but the background looks very screwed up so what we want to do now is we're gonna go to this Thing right here which is called event pan or crop and we're going to crop this picture a bit uh, make sure that you can see this up here as well as this down here so that you can see a little like a view of what you're doing and we're just gonna like basically crop it a, a bit so that we can um, you know work with what we got and just try to find a spot it really doesn't matter if it covers the whole screen because we are going to be taking the opacity down so just play with this a bit and make sure that it fits your fancy save that and now we got that now this is the thing where this is the key thing right now there is this thing next to pan crop and it's called events effects and this is so just click on sony chroma key here and what we're going to do now is there's by default it is blue so we're just going to click the blue and click anything other than the snowflakes and now as you can see it's we basically removed all of that nasty stuff that was in there so now we got that but it is a little it does look a bit weird it is a little bit too much for me so i'm going to take down the opacity so now that i have the opacity down i'm going to press play and see how that looks The opacity is a little bit too low, so let's bring that up so we can actually see the snow. So as you can see now, we have falling snow. And one thing that I forgot to say is, um, you need to save this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as... But, um, so yeah, we have that set. And now what we need to do is grab the plumb bob that I was showing you. Um, you don't actually have to grab the plumb bob if you don't want to, but I'm going to show you for this tutorial. Um, we're going to have basically have a spinning plumb bob in the background. So I actually do want to make this smaller because it is very big. So what we're going to do is like basically, like I said, preview that thing. And we're going to, you know, take it down. And actually, I think it's the right size. I don't want to actually take the size down. So I'm going to keep the size as what it was. So now we have a plumb bob in the background. Awesome, right? No. So we're going to actually make it turn a little bit because it's a little bit plain. So what we're going to do is double click anywhere on the time frame that you have. I'm just going to choose the ending part. And what it's, if you want it to turn, basically all you have to do is make sure you have this second keyframe clicked and then basically just turn your plumb bob you can do it in 180 i'm going to do 180 degree right now you can also do 360 um i don't i don't think it'll move if you put it in 360 so just do 180 make sure this is upside down and in those six seconds it will turn in 180 degrees um so if you wanted to go faster obviously you're going to have two keyframes here and this is basically just where it is now it's telling you where it's going to be at this point where it's going to be at this point where it's going to be at this point so yeah now let's actually preview it So as you can see, it is lagging a little bit and that's fine because we haven't rendered it yet. But now this is the most important part of the video. What we're going to do now, I'm going to put this um, video clip that we made in the in the Sims 4. We're going to drag that into Sony Vegas. Then we're going to delete the soundtrack if you have a soundtrack on it. And we're just going to find a point in Elsa's little animation where it starts and begins and we don't have that little white thing on it. So let's find one. 
So it looks like that was pretty good. So we're just gonna delete the rest and slide this on in here. I think that it kind of went over a little bit, but let's check it and see how it looks now. Okay, so that does not look right. So let's try to find another one. Because I did, like I said, I did have that little white thing in there, which really annoys me, but it's fine. So we're going to start to where are we going to start? We're going to start right here and split it. So it looks like that's basically it. And I kept putting a thing in there, which really annoys me. So I might have to find another one. You might, you're gonna have to play with this. That's why I said do it multiple times because there will be points where, in your animation where, um, there will be points in your animation where there are little, you know, jitters and maybe, maybe your computer lags. Mine does lag a bit. So sometimes there are little jitters. So let's check to see if this is a full animation. And like I said, the lag is real right now. So um, make sure that you, like I said, make sure that you have everything set on here. And okay, so now since we have our complete animation, we're going to delete the green background. But before that, we need to crop it because we don't want that other stuff in there because we can only, we can only remove green with this tutorial. So let's actually do that right now. Just crop out everything that you see besides her, basically all this arrow. So don't put the stuff in there like that. And there's also these, where's this lock aspect ratio? Make sure that's unlocked. And also where it says size about sensor, make sure that is also unclicked. And then you, once you have it cropped on everything except for the arrows, it's basically you just want her in there. Just save that. And now we're gonna go to right here where it says video event effect so we're going to use the same effect and that's chroma key here so once you have your chroma key here click the blue it's blue by default and just click the green now and now you have your background removed um you're, when you first do this it's gonna be black in the background and that's fine just make sure that your threshold is set to 1.00 or the max that you can do it and then press save and then there you go so there you go let's, let's play it and see how it looks now And obviously there is quite a bit of lag right now, but after we after we render it, it'll look very cool. So I'm gonna actually render it right now and I'm gonna show you how it looks afterwards. It's obviously not the same as the one that I showed you at the beginning, but it's very, very similar. And I just wanted to show you guys the basic basics. So um if you render I mean if your resolution of your computer or whatever is 720 then make sure you render 720 or 1080 basically whatever you want so while I'm rendering this I do need to say that I hope that I help you guys out with this and I hope that you know you're able to make all of your animations for the sims 4 or the sims 3 and um just like I said don't forget to download the mods put that in your mods folder I did have it on my desktop but I just wanted to show you how it looks but make sure that it is in your mods folder and also um make sure that you don't use copyrighted copyrighted music make sure that the music that you use is copyright free because it may not show up now but later on if you use copyright music it will basically just ruin your whole channel all of the work that you have put into all of your stuff will be ruined and i don't want to be responsible for that so just make sure that all of your stuff is set so now that it's rendering if you have any questions make sure you put them down in the comment section and i will be sure to answer them and um once this renders i'm actually going to show you how it looks because we did this together we made this elsa sim together oh so yeah let's check and see how it looks and now open up our documents or wherever you rendered it to and i think mine's in documents and it's called et1 so let's open up et1 Okay, so there's the animation. As you can see, I did make this small little mistake of putting the little bar at the end, but that's fine. Just make sure you don't do that in your video. Make sure that you have a clip to the point where um, 
you don't see a white bar in there. That is exactly what you don't want to do. So yeah, nobody's perfect. Just make sure that you don't make the same mistake that I did. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Just like I said, if you have any questions on anything, make sure that you let me know in the comment section. You can also tweet me if you have questions because I do, I do tend to check Twitter way more than I check YouTube. So make sure you do that. And I will see you guys next time.